uh, as soon as we get a statement from LeBron about this, man, we're going to get it to you, man. I promise you, man. Oh, my God. These black people issues, man. What's happening? Yo, why you were sharing some people on the umbrellas, man? Well, I mean, some some of these gliders in here have said that um only you and tigers can fix this, man. Because y'all don't have white guilt, well, man. Well, send them to the tiger neighborhoods then. Well, um, <laughs> We'll get into that a little later, man. We'll get into that a little later, man. We'll get into that a little later. What's up, man? Johnny Rep. But but let's hey, be honest. I pause the stream so I wouldn't hear you twice. <laughs> well, okay. But let, but let's be honest. I some people just want to be with the gliders anyway. Yeah, we do. So I I will say. Khalil, the son of Jarrell, could not fix this because he can't be everywhere at once, and he can go. He can spin the earth back and and and, and make time go backwards, right? Yeah, man. There's no fixing this, man. Man, uh, you you can have cops everywhere at all at once, and it still wouldn't help. Nope, because the cop got, cops got to take a break, man. They got to look at their cell phone. They got to fucking. They got to grab a suntan. Yeah, they got to take him to the station, so they can't. Once they're gone, they're taking him to the station. Boom! There's a void. Yeah, they, they, wherever there's a void, some teams are some people are ruthless. Justin Bibb announcing a huge expansion to the city's shot spotter program, which automatically alerts police to gunfire. Jim Nelson live downtown tonight, where Jim, the plan has been met with some mixed emotions. Always the emotion. Yeah, absolutely. Here at City Hall, there's plenty of support. Obviously, Mayor Bibb is for it, the police department, and most of City Council. But outside of this building, there has been some criticism. Cleveland's problem with shooting is well documented. I think the warmer it gets, the worse it's going to get. Collinwood Smoke Shop owner Iam Bay tells me he sees it firsthand. And now, Mayor Justin Bibb just announced Shot Spotter is. That's your fucking mayor, this fucking. 25 year old son, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> so, why are they bitching about Shot Spotter? I don't, I haven't seen this video. Is Shot Spotter racist? Because they don't <laughs> have Shot Spotters in white neighborhoods. <laughs> I wonder why. You know, the son mayor of Chicago said it was racist and he plans on getting rid of it. So really? the only thing that would work to stop this would be Ed 209s. And those are walking drones that will just uh, shoot anybody that, that, that presents a gun threat. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said he was going to give it a shot spotter. I, uh, but right before the system a year left, she renewed the contract. So I don't know what, how that's going to look. You know, why would you get rid of shot spot? I lived in a decent neighborhood when I was in D.C. This last time when I lived in D.C. Yeah. I lived in a working class. It, it's, it's shit now. It's gone to yeah. shit quick. But, I mean, it's fucking, it's fucking changed. Like, the, the, the two years I've been gone, that shit just went to shit. Um, but, however... And I know three people that have been shot in that neighborhood. And I and it's and it's, it's crazy when I just said that because and I know a 70-year-old woman that's been robbed twice. But mm -hmm. it was still cause I still consider that a good neighborhood for DC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 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 what I'm saying is we had a shot spot on the next block. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't it, just because there's black people there. It didn't need to, it doesn't need to be a bad neighborhood. So if you have these bad neighborhoods where there's shootings every night, a lot of some people do not call the police when they hear shooting 
because they're desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. They figure someone else will do it. You're asleep fucking one o'clock in the morning. You got to go to work. You fuck, get up from work at five. You hear some gunshots. You figure somebody else is in the neighborhood's gonna call the police. Now the people feel somebody and then end up what ends up happening, nobody calls the police. That's what happened with the one officer that was murdered off duty. Nobody nobody called the uh, 911. But um, you know, I have friends that are that are cops and they tell me that shots spotter, they able to respond soon and uh render aid to the father. Yeah, exactly. Shot spotter helps helps them come to the exact point they don't have to go and hunt for where the fucking yeah it's, it's, it's a very precise I, I wonder let me let me find out why these fucking sons don't like this shit. firsthand and now mayor justin bibb just announced shot spotter is expanding here into all five police districts instead of just one the company claims 80 percent of shootings go unreported by the public but this detail 80% of shootings go unreported by the public. Holy shit. And y'all talking about disparate outcomes in court, the criminal justice system, 90, 80% of y'all don't even make it to the criminal justice system. <laughs> Let a white man fire a gun in this country. I bet you 95% of the white men who fire guns in this country either get interviewed by a cop, whether it's self-defense or not, or get arrested. Ain't no white people shooting no gun in, in 80% of the time. No, you know what I'm saying? Nobody fucking calls the police. Go to a white neighborhood. Drop a stack of books in a white neighborhood. Somebody will call the fucking police on you into all five police districts instead of just one. The company claims 80% of shootings go unreported by the public, but this detects gunshots and alerts police automatically. City Council has overwhelmingly supported ShotSpotter. I think that we should have that too throughout the entire city of Cleveland. But the ACLU has raised concerns about privacy and the risk of unnecessary interactions with police. In other words, if there's a... <laughs> Unnecessary interaction. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? What's up, man? Yeah. Oh my God! They're still beating that drum. If a if a black man interacts with a police, it's a potential deadly situation. Come on, man! You know we might get killed by the cops. Are we scared of them cops? Right. I mean, it's not it's not completely false because these some men take it there. Yeah, that's the only way it's going to happen is you take it there. But even, we, listen, I've been there, man. I've taken it there. I've been around people that take it there. We all, we take it there and they don't not that. Still don't get shot, man. You got to, like, reach for their gun or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to be running from them and, like, dart out at them or some shit. Like, the idiot did the other day. Pull the gun out while you're running. You can talk shit to them. You can fucking tussle with them. You can, you know, call them all types of old, Shit to their face, you can especially, do all that shit, yeah. Not about to say, especially in Washington D.C. and New York. Jeez, yeah, man, we 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 do the most, man. I'm I I I reject that 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 you can that you gonna get shot because you disrespect them. You gotta do something like that puts their life in danger before you get, before you get shot. You has raised concerns about privacy and the risk of unnecessary interactions with police. In other words, if there's a false alarm, people in the area could get caught in the middle of police questioning when they have no involvement. <laughs> <laughs> so this will make, they're, they're saying, they're literally saying that people from the community who may be outside when the shooting happens may have to fucking answer questions when the police show up may have to give test statements, may have to give witness test testimony. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what a good community is about? Yeah, it is. But the problem is, like, what if I have a, what if I don't have nothing to do with the shots fired, but what if I have my illegal gun? You know, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. That's true, that's true. What if I got yeah. dope on me? That's true, facts. And the ACLU is accounting for that. Thank you, ACLU. Let's see, on the risk of, unnecessary interactions with police. In other words, if there's a false alarm, people in the area could get caught in the middle of police questioning when they have no involvement. 
According to an independent audit of ShotSpotter data, they have a 97% accuracy rate, which some groups have disputed in an online petition. A 97% accuracy rate. That's white gliders, you got to be perfect. So that's the thing we hold gliders to such a high standard. If this was some black shit, black people made shots about it, that should have a 30% accuracy rate and nobody would complain about it. And they'd be like, well, what the fuck? I mean, shit, what you expect us to do? These gliders got a 97% accuracy rate. And we like, man, well, I mean, I mean, it's all right, but I mean, like, it's 30 percent would be impressive. I, it's yeah. high. <laughs> I'd be like, what, thirty percent? Good job, yeah, man. We're shit. terrible people, man. We put glad we 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 think glad is a fucking superhuman. Salute the midlife reset, man. He said, "Are you trying to say Umbritos don't want sons in their hood?" Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so be this Mexicans can't. Damn black people, man! And Stop I mean, it. That's I, 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 uh, I resent that. Yeah, because I, because look, I again, man, you gotta understand. I you do understand. I'm talking about the old school ones. You're an Americanized one, of course. Of course, you don't. No, no, no. But I'm, but I, but I'm first generation though. Like no, I'm, I'm very talking concerned. about like your 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 parents. They couldn't stand black people, man. And here's the thing. They don't dislike black people because of the color of their skin. I can tell you that. <laughs> At least it's not because of the color of their skin or their dead texture. I'm not saying that's why they don't like it. Okay? Maybe it's the vibe. Maybe it's, you know, the vibe when they're walking. Yeah, but that's probably what it is. Accuracy rate, which some groups have disputed. In an online petition, Black Lives Matter Cleveland argues, quote, ShotSpotter technology regularly sends police falsely expecting to find gunshots into the black, brown, and poor communities. Oh, why do they have a say in this shit? Why yeah. does BLM have a say? This is above their... Falsely? <laughs> falsely? <laughs> man. Yeah, I was about to say that. Falsely? Like, what, what the fuck kind of stupid shit is that? Like, come on, man. Yeah, like the gunshot went off, man. Like... <laughs> that, thing, that, that thing is so good, man. Let me tell you something. That thing, well, you know, the they always do news. say shots erupted on the news. Yeah. So I guess they think there's nothing actually causing the shots to go off, you know? But if a car backfires, right, they know the difference between that. If you drop a stack of fucking books, they know the difference between that and the gunshot. Just because it's a loud sound doesn't mean that it's gonna they're going to come. It's only gunshots. They know that, that that technology knows the difference between gunshots and other loud banging sounds. It's a it's a definite decibel level difference, and it's uh it also probably detects the the sonic boom of the the gun. Mm. It's a, it's almost as good as some people. I remember that sister from Jackson, where she was like, "That's a nine millimeter Glock." Right. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta mute yourself, conservative. She was like, "That's a Glock 17." My bad. She was that Glock 17 with a switch on it. Yeah, yeah, they, they know. L.A. Wilkes says, "I hate the ACLU with a passion. It hurt the Sun community more than anything." Yeah, the what is it? The 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 ACLU. The what do they stand for? American the, Civil Liberties. Yeah, Civil Liberties Union. Yeah, civil liberties. Some people got all the fucking civil liberties they need, man. We need to take some of these some civil liberties away from some people. Bro. Real shit. Real shit. We was better off, man. We was better off during segregate Jim Crow and all that shit, man. We we need see that's the thing about us, man. We don't deal with freedom well, man. We just don't, man. We don't deal with freedom well. We we just can't we can't fucking handle that shit, man. Fucking sad, man. And then you got BLM chiming in on fucking like this is there's no reason that the news should give us what BLM said about this. It's un it's, it's unprofessional for the news to do that. Matter Cleveland argues, quote, shot spotter technology regularly sends police falsely expecting to find gunshots into the black, brown, and poor communities, adding this represents both an increased workload and increased costs for police, as well as an increased risk to the community.
Cleveland police have credited ShotSpotter with saving 12 lives, along with dozens of arrests and guns being taken off the streets. I know some areas are um, worse than others, and, and I know the response time is worse than others, Lord knows, but uh, it's definitely needed. So as for the concerns, I did reach out to Mayor Bibb's office to see if they had any response to some of those ongoing questions. I did not hear back. Let's talk about price real quick. This money coming from ARPA, the federal COVID release funds, at a cost of about $2.8 million. Live downtown. Okay, that ain't bad. I, if, yeah, $2.8 million ain't that bad. I'll pay for it. Yo, so, some folks rather spend that money on shit that works. Like some